What is music publishing? It's the big question that we all get asked a lot. Music publishing royalties can earn some serious money for artists. So let's go through everything you need to know about what music publishing is, what a music publisher does, and how that links into copyright, performing rights organizations, and all of that good stuff. And I mean it can get complicated, but we'll break it down for you and try cover all the basics. We're also running a competition in this video for your chance to win Spotify Premium free for a whole year. And all you have to do is ask us a question about publishing down in the comments and our favorite question will get the prize, as simple as that. So head down into the comments right now and get involved. But just quickly before we get into it, if you are looking for a publisher, you should check out Ditto Music Publishing. We've got the best publishing deal in the industry right now, the lowest commission rates. And we've got a team that'll track down and pay you all the publishing royalties that you're missing out on. And that includes mechanical, performing, and sync royalties. And like I said, I'll get into exactly what those royalties are in a bit. But for now, let's start at the beginning. What is music publishing? So we'll be covering a few things in this video. How does music copyright work? What does a music publisher do? And why do artists need one? And what is a performing rights organization? But just like usual, make sure you click through all the chapters, the markers and the timestamps to move around the video where you feel best. But if not, you know exactly what to do. Sit back, take note and relax. A little housekeeping before we start, make sure you hit like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. Get down in the comments and join the Ditto community. Okay, so what is music publishing? Before we get ahead around music publishing, we first need to understand how music copyright works. There are two copyrights for every track, one copyright for the sound recording and one copyright for the composition. So the sound recording copyrights is also known as the master rights. When artists say they own their masters, they actually mean they own the copyright to the original recording of the music, also known as the master rights. Whoever owns the master rights to the original recording of the song will earn royalties whenever that song's recording is broadcast or reproduced. And that most definitely includes streams and downloads. The copyright to the sound recording is usually owned by you, the artist or the label that you're with. So now the composition rights is also known as the publishing rights. The composition or the musical work refers to the underlying musical elements, structure and the composition of the song. And this may or may not include lyrics. The composition copyright is usually owned by the original writer or the composer of the track. The main thing to remember, the music publishing side deals exclusively with the royalties generated Generated by the composition of the song. So now you've got a good understanding of how the copyright works, but how does a music publisher come into this? And what exactly does a music publisher do? Basically, a music publisher works on behalf of songwriters and composers to collect and pay out all of their publishing royalties earned from the compositions of their music, also known as musical works. Publishers can collect a few different types of royalties from loads of sources all over the world. So these royalties include performance royalties, and you'll get these whenever your track is performed live, played on radio, or broadcast anywhere in the world. Mechanical royalties, these are extra royalties due whenever your music is streamed or downloaded. Sync licensing royalties, this is money that's made whenever your music is featured in any TV, ad, film, game, or synchronized with any type of media. We'll drop some more videos going into more detail about all these different types of royalties soon. But for now I've left some links in the description with a bit more in-depth information. And it is true that in theory an independent musician could try claim some of the publishing royalties they're owed without the need for a publisher. But publishing is a complicated business. There are hundreds of organizations across the globe responsible for different royalty sources. And it's practically impossible for artists with smaller back catalogs to build the effective relationship they need to claim all the royalties that they're owed. And then this can leave loads of potential royalties unclaimed. Plus there's the issue of the writers and the publisher shares when it comes to royalties. For example, performance royalties are typically split into two halves, 50% for the writer and 50% for the publisher, while mechanical royalties only pay out the publisher's share. Mad complicated, I know, but stick with me. <laughs> but that's why, and that's where the music publisher comes in. Without an effective publisher, you're going to be missing out on big chunks of royalties that are owed to you. Most publishers have existing relationships that span decades back with PROs, performing rights organizations, and other collection societies across the globe, plus years of expertise tracking down every potential source of royalties that could be owed to you. It's literally their job to make sure you get everything that's owed to you. 
So with that said, what is a performing rights organization, a PRO? A performing rights organization, a PRO, is responsible for collecting performing rights on behalf of songwriters, composers in any given territory. Most countries have their own performing rights organizations like PRS in the UK, ASCAP, BMI, CSAC in the US, and so can in Canada. So what's the difference between a music publisher and a performing rights organization? PROs are to license and collect royalties for millions of songs, which protects the value of music by grouping copyrights together to negotiate and license to digital services, broadcasters, and venues. PROs don't collect mechanical royalties, but a music publisher, however, will also be a member of a mechanical rights collection society such as MCPS in the UK or MLC or Harry Fox in the US and there's many more around the world. In short, music publishing is a collection and payment of royalties whenever a song is used. And that might seem simple enough, but in reality, it barely scratches the surface. Music publishing has the potential to create a whole new revenue stream for any artist. And although it can be a bit complex and daunting at the start, it's so important for artists to understand. So make sure you sign up to Ditto Music Publishing and start earning more money from your music with publishing royalties. I mean, we've covered the basic here, but we're gonna drop a lot more content, a lot more videos very soon, covering the different types of royalty types I mentioned earlier. But as always, if you wanna learn more about music publishing, check out the links down below in the description. And here's something important for artists to remember when claiming publishing royalties. Publishing royalties are not paid out in the same way that royalties from sales and streams are paid out. They're much less regular and they can be paid out anywhere between six to 12 months. And that's just the way it is for everyone, unfortunately. But don't worry, because regardless, it will be coming into your back pocket. Yeah, man, and that is it for this video. Don't forget to leave a comment down below before you go. We'll be giving away a year's free Spotify premium to whoever drops the best question down below about music publishing. So get involved for your chance to win, even if you're just curious, down below, let us know. And I'll be in the comments, so I'll see you there. I really hope you got a better understanding of what music publishing is and how it all works. But just like usual for me and the Ditto Music team, more love, more powers, and I will catch you guys next time. But do not forget to like, subscribe, and all of that good stuff. I'll catch you guys very soon.